I don't understand the Taylor Swift slander. All right, let me answer some questions. You can call it slander all you want. It's not really slander. Most people don't really care who she's dating. And you mentioned, like, she dated femboys, uh, like the Jonas Brothers, Jake Gyllenhaal, um, so forth. Uh, they, she's dating something that looks more like a real man. That's highly judgmental. So let's get to the judgment part of it. Here, men don't care. What they care about is that their sport that they like is being taken over by a bunch of celebrities. So you see, this is Guar. So if you want an equivalent, say you pay tickets for a Taylor Swift concert, and I know they're goddamn expensive, but she cancels. Or better yet, they're the opening act. They share the stage with Taylor Swift. Uh, yeah, Swifties would be upset. They would be very upset. Now, personally, I don't like Guar. I don't like Taylor Swift. I think she's whiny and blah, 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 blah. But I don't listen to her music, nor do I care to listen to her music, nor do I complain about her music. Uh, I don't complain about anything that is. What I am complaining about is how it's how Joy Coy was right at that award show <laughs> there. And she got Jada Pinkett Smith all written all over her face when he made the comment, and it was true, that there's a ton of shots of Taylor Swift. They're doing it to sell tickets. They're doing it to, to increase their demographic because now a bunch of people that are not interested in football are going so they can make more money. She is the Andy Kaufman of the NFL. She is she's to the NFL what Andy Kaufman was to WWF. He incited women. She excites women. So yeah, it's not a relationship. The true sports fans of the NFL we're irritated about the Lovey Smith thing. We're irritated about the Kaepernick thing. Because it was no longer about the football game. It was no longer about the game and how it's played. It is now, is Taylor Swift going to be there? Oh my God, number 13. How do you think it's so interesting that his number's 22 and she has a song about 22? And oh my God. Yeah, yeah. Um... That's that. That's what it is. That's that's where the shade's coming from. That is basically a ploy. And I think the NFL's rigged anyway. I don't really watch the NFL, but that's what people are upset about. It is the politics or whatever of the whole thing of not being about what NFL is supposed to be about. It's supposed to be about football. It's not supposed to be about who hugs who in whatever stand, who with celebrities in whatever stand, even when like Ellen DeGeneres was in the same freaking booth as uh, George Bush and everyone had like two cents to give about it at a, at a game. Who cares? You're there to watch the game. You're not there to get into interpersonal relationships you're there to watch whether or not your team wins or the team wins the next seed or spot. So, yeah. And it's not about that. It's been about Taylor Swift. And um, my personal opinion, she's that narcissistic woman. Once all this fanfare goes away, their relationship's probably going to go away, just like the 12 before. And that's basically what it's going to be. It's... So yeah, there's your answer. It's not hate towards the relationship. It's hate towards the over-sensationalized of a relationship between a football player and some celebrity pop star that apparently thinks men have it on easy street. There's your answer.